okay dear student we are conducting the snf of our student banketries and this snf for a uh, communication and uh, for the organization of drd okay very basic question from the communication what is the need of the communication uh modulation modulation well, need of modulation you can say uh, uh, multiple access uh, multiple translation that is one uh, Made and one more is antenna design. So, by because antenna design, uh, in that uh, antenna size is depends upon the uh, wavelength of the carrier. So first, and one more thing is, ah, so to, uh, your voice is not coming proper way. It is, uh, it is low. So please increase your volume or anything, or speak high. Okay. Okay. Ah. So what? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, 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 okay. Uh, tell, tell. Am I audible, sir? Hello. Yes, yes. Am I audible now? Uh, ah, uh, you are audible, but not in proper way. Okay, sir. I'm talking. Okay. Hello. Hi. Okay, so yeah. second use I I listen properly that uh, manage the height of the antenna. Okay. Yes, yes. And uh, what was the first? Uh, we can transmit multiple signals uh, in the bandwidth. Okay, now multiple multiple, multiple the, transmission. How we transmit multiple signal into the bandwidth? Uh, by using uh, uh, time division multiplexing. Oh, okay. Only time division multiplexing. Uh, in time division multiplexing, uh, also we, so one more. We piece. use we use modulation in time division multiplexing, TDM or FDM. I FDM also we can use. So you told that you use the uh, modulation in TDM. Uh, in TDM we are using pulse amplitude modulation. Pulse amplitude modulation, very good. So in so. so uh kind what are the types of modulation uh, types of modulation basically uh, in analog amplitude modulation and frequency uh, um, amplitude modulation uh, phase and frequency modulation in analog mm -hmm. okay in pulse modulations uh, there are again two uh, analog pulse again, modulation they are again pulse analog modulation. modulation pulse modulation are analog modulation uh, pulse modulation two are there uh analog pulse modulation and digital uh, okay. analog pulse modulation like uh, pam so pulse position and pulse width modulation digital are digital pulse modulations are pcm dpcm dm delta modulation these are digital pulse modulations digital pulse modulation okay and what about the ask fsk what they are they are uh, band pass trans uh, transmission schemes they are, not modulation. they are not modulation scheme? They are also modulation, but uh, band pass transmission. Band pass transmission. Okay. What is the PCM? Please describe PCM. PCM. Yeah. Uh, pulse code modulation uh, is a basic of, uh, uh, it is a basic modulation type uh, from analog to digital. Uh, in that, we are first going to sample the analog signal and then uh, apply quantization and then encoding, then transmit. What is, uh, what uh, quantization is doing here? Quantization is doing uh, round of the signal in amplitude by axis. Round of the uh, ampli uh, signal amplitude to the nearest integer. Okay. What is the difference between linear and non-linear non quantization? And what will be the advantage over uh, linear? What is the advantage of non-linear over the linear? Uh, in linear quantization, uh, step size is uh, uh, constant. Like uh, throughout the scale, quantization is uniform. In non-linear quantization, step size is varying according to the requirement. Advantage is like that. For example, uh, uh, if we want to give increase the signal to noise ratio of uh, low frequency signals, their step size can be reduced. Uh, 
for example high frequency signals their step size can be uh, increased okay okay yeah, actually miss i miss can i repeat again ha uh -huh, please non uniform quantization use uh, for example the signal is uh, varying with high slope hmm. higher high rate of change there we can use uh, high steps high step height is more for example if signal is varying with the low slope uh, it hmm. is not varying it is not varying much then we can quantize it, that signal with less st less step height so that accuracy is more so that is how we do this how we do this non linear quantization uh non linear quantization first uh, we apply some compression okay. and then uniform quantization compression then uniform quantization uh, the together forms non uniform quantization okay okay what is the cdf and pdf sir cdf yeah cdf is cumulative distribution function hmm. pdf is uh, probability density function cdf is cumulative distribution function uh, where the uh, pdf in pdf is a probability distribution uh, probability density function by using these two uh, we can uh, describe to the random variable random variable so uh, by using pdf uh, we can uh, for example random for a particular random variable in particular range if you want to find out the probability of occurrence you can use pdf uh, by integrating that in that range pdf uh, for example in cdf uh, it is a non dynamically increasing distribution function uh, you can find out the probability up to the uh, whatever the random variable for example x equal to x1 hmm okay now what is the random variable what is the uh, give me the practical example of the random variable and uh, told me that uh, this will be a random variable in this condition can you give me any example uh, like uh, thermal uh, noise voltage the thermal noise vo signal is having particular voltage it is a random always okay 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 thermal noise and um, any other for example a discrete random variable like if we are throwing a dice six numbers can be possible events mm -hmm. so any time it can take any number mm -hmm. okay, okay 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 now in the case of the um, angle modulation what is the modulation index angle modulation in case of angle modulation modulation index can be defined as the ratio of uh, change uh, swing uh, frequency swing like uh, maximum change in the frequency divided by uh, frequency of the carrier in, in amplitude modulation there is a frequency change amplitude amplitude modulation sir now i am telling yeah. for angle angle modulation no 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 modulo amplitude modulation or uh, modulation index is divided uh, uh, am divided by ac Amplitude okay. of message signal divided by amplitude of and what it carrier. gives if it is greater than equal to one less than one then what effect on the signal? Generally, uh, it should be less than one modulation index. If it is greater than one, uh, distortion will occur. Uh, we cannot recover the we cannot de uh, we cannot decode um, so we cannot detect the annual of detection. For example, okay. we are using annual of detection, then we cannot detect. modulation index is more my question is that suppose we have mu greater than 1 okay can we detect the signal or not this is a simple question we cannot detect we cannot detect usko hum pata hi nahi kar sakte hai na sir we cannot detect in uh, any way not use analog detector use any of the detector or why using of any of the detector we cannot detect are you understanding my uh, question that, that yes yes i understand uh, i can say using animal of detection we cannot detect but other detection techniques uh, i am not confident 
you cannot tell me. You are not uh, you are not can confirm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh no! Now let's uh, uh, make a um, circuit diagram for the analog detector. Okay. And explain how it works. Can I draw? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll draw this. Mm -hmm. Simple diode with. Also make a output um, waveform for this. Okay. Okay. Now uh, this is the output waveform. Uh, yeah, this, is, this is the uh, input and this is the output. Yes. yes. Is it like this? Output actually not complete a smooth function. Uh, it is by charging and discharging. Small, small ripples will come. A small ripple. No. Okay. So suppose here the output depends on the charging and discharging. No? Yes. So what should be the time constraint? Charging time constraint, discharging time constraint should be similar or charging should be greater or less. Can you explain on this basis? Yes. Uh, I am considering uh, carrier frequency and the uh, message signal frequency. Hmm. So, on that basis, uh, RC time constant of the RC should lie in between the time constraints of uh, carrier signal and message signal. Hmm, that is, so that is the best possible. What about the discharging and charging time constraint? A charging greater hona chahi, charging should be greater or discharging should be greater or both the time constraints are similar. Yes, yes, I'll tell Discharging should not be fast. Uh, discharging should be slow only. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, discharging of capacitor, uh, it should be slow only for getting smooth. Uh, okay, okay, back okay, okay, your time has been completed. Now let's conclude your interview. Okay, your technical knowledge is good. Your technical knowledge is out of 10 is around the 7, 7.5. Okay, and uh, another positive point from your facial expression, from your explanation, it is also reflect that you are a very sincere student and very, uh, very sincere uh, man. So it is also a positive thing because in the DIDU, they require a sincere person. Understand? Yes. Okay. And also conceptual sincere person they require. And another thing, uh, sometimes when the question is not up to you and not uh, you don't know the exact answer, so sometimes you become underconfident and like this. So this is a negative point. So during when you don't know the answer properly, no problem. And uh, your okay. confidence level should be maintained. And uh, this is the oh, important yeah. thing because they want, everyone wants the confidence. Everyone wants then situations are against then you should be uh, perform in the similar way. Understand? Yeah. 
that is the important thing okay vankesh okay. so uh, okay. i we, you have time then uh, you can uh, read one more time then okay okay yeah okay thank you